They still think that GMO is something quite high technology, something that happened in the future or in the science movie. But actually, we have done that a lot. And for example, when we talk about any kind of fermented products like soya sauce, um, cheese, actually we use microbes that we try to manipulate their DNA or genes for a long time. When we think about GMOs, especially the plants, GMO crops, something like that, we have a tool that do something that the nature cannot do. For example, if you want to have plants that can protect itself from insects, you can just manipulate their genomes. And that's the way the nature cannot do for us. It was developed in order to resist pesticides or herbicides that use in the crops. So it's not aimed at increasing yield, actually. They are not engineered to increasing yield or face climate-related challenges such as drought, torrents. So it used for production of animal feed and ethanol mainly. The problem is about we did support decentralization of food production. So if we are more monopolizing in terms of technology, like promoted by the big company promoting GMO crops or high technology whatsoever, and then it's become very centralizing food production. And the centralizing food production also resulting in centralizing food distribution. So that means the food is not distributed in a way that's fair and everyone could get access to good quality of food. Unlock the science, encapsulating the scientific world with Jula Radio Plus.